Welcome back, Brony Nerds and Gamers, to the world of Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. Uh, we're back with another day of recording. Uh, I did a little bit of work on the menus, uh, spaced them out a little better to uh, make it easier to look at. Um, I could probably bring this down like here, and that'd be fine too. This gives me a, this gives everyone a bigger view of the. Uh, of the character model in the screen so that I can properly just grab things off of the character uh, so I can properly grab things off of the character you're supposed to be able to properly what is this what is with this what is this this is this is bal baloney I can't grab the helm I can't grab the helm that's kind of weird that's an odd thing to not be able to grab. I can grab everything else. I can grab the pauldrons. I can grab the bracers, the uh, boots. I can grab everything except the helmet. Am I not wearing? I'm wearing both pauldrons. I got both pauldrons, both bracers, boots. I've got everything on. Robe completes the outfit. And if I want to bring up the map, I just click on the little mini-map down here, and that brings up the map for me to look at. Uh, we are in Pelagiad right now, and I, as I said before, there's not a lot to do in Pelagiad. It's, uh, it, it's sort of a very barren quest area, and it's really just a pit stop. Um, one of the major reasons to have Pelagiad here is the Imperial Cult. Now, as I said, there is... Um, if we go, actually, if we go back inside, because that's what I wanted to do, if we go back inside, Anytime. and we come here to, uh, Igfa, I'm not, I'm not, I don't even have my weapon out, am I just so poor in personality? I really am, I am really just so poor in personality. Uh, if we barter for spells... We see we have a bunch of Flame Guard and Restore Intelligence, Saintly Touch. Did I buy a Turn on Dead? I don't have any. I don't really have any points in Conjuration. Uh, this might be useful. It's not right now, because like I don't have the money to waste on all of this. But some of this is really good. These Flame Guard, these these uh, Elemental Guard spells are really good. But I just don't have the money to buy all that right now. Uh, what does she have to buy? She has... We already went through all this. I was hoping she had scrolls of divine intervention, but she does not. Uh, you could join the Imperial Cult, which this basically unlocks a... Um, a mini quest for you to take on, where you, uh, you journey to all the shrines of the, uh... Of the Imperial Cult, there's nine of them, and once you tr travel all nine of them, uh, you get like a really cool item at the end. I've I've rarely ever done it because the Imperial Cult never really meshed well with my characters. You've got to have. Uh, I'm just gonna review stuff. Review, review. Uh, no, not at this time. So what do we got here? We accept all citizens. Good character, earnest faith. We only ask one time pledge of fifty drakes, aid us in good works. Thereafter. The only cost of membership comes when you use our health, healing, and blessing shrines. Monos fees will he help, which help us spread the blessings of the nine to those less fortunate than ourselves. Do you wish to join the Imperial Court? Would you rather I review the Imperial Court requirements? To serve and glorify the nine divines, you must cultivate a noble personality and a strong will. Respect the magical arts, especially colleges of restoration, mysticism, and conjuration. So, I used to have a guidebook that would tell you each of the different guilds and the imperial cult counts as like a guild right each of the guilds and the requirements that are, are um that come with having to level up i don't have that guide with me anymore so if i want to figure out how to continue to level up in the guild you basically talk to them about the requirements and in this case Personality is their major stat, as well as well as a strong will, which I believe willpower. So you have to have a high personality and a high willpower to continue to level up in the Imperial Cult. And the Colleges of Restoration, Mysticism, and Conjuration. Basically, uh, these three uh, skills 
you need to focus on. Now, there are other, are other skills, though, that are not uh, technically uh, talked about. Here we go. Those who swear to avoid bloodshed to take the field unarmored. So, unarmored is one of the skills. Blunt weapons. Knowledge of enchantments. Diplomatic speech. Are other qualities we look for in, in our initiatives. So, this basically, in this one paragraph, tells me everything I need to know about what I need to level. Restoration, mysticism, conjuration, unarmored, blunt weapons, speechcraft, enchantments. Uh, I have two of these in my uh, pool of of uh, of skills that I'm leveling up naturally, but the rest of them I don't. I'm not leveling up speechcraft. I'm only leveling up merchantile. Please reconsider, yeah, but I probably won't. Now, at least not at this time, because, like, we look here. I've got restoration. I don't even have mysticism. I forgot about that. I, I only have restoration, alteration, destruction, illusion, enchant. How high do you have to level them in order to, uh, to continue on? I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember exactly. But we see conjuration and mysticism are actually down here at 20. And that means that I think I have access to at least try using those spells, but I don't have very good use of them. Righteousness is not that good. Sanctuary, uh, not sanctuary. Well, which, what was the other one? There was another one. Well, I've got Conjuration, Bound Dagger, and... Yeah, since I don't have a good conjuration or mysticism, there's a lot of spells there I can't really use. Which might tell me that in the future I will want to uh, increase my um, mysticism. And if I do if I do that, I will come back here and I will join the Imperial Cult. But you can also join the Imperial Cult from any shrine. Now, the whole... The whole thing that I'm sad about is that there are no divine intervention scrolls here. Come on, I'm moving on. I'm getting out of here. Since there's really nothing else to do. If I go to the north wall, there's not really anything this way either. There's maybe some boxes that I could rifle through, perhaps. This takes there. That's just ra random guard. There's boxes. Is that a? <gasps> oh, that's an axe. That sucks. How close is he? He is not close enough. We can take this. Pretty soul gem. Take that. Uh. Leave the rest. Just a little bit of harmless swiping. That takes us to Pelagiad. Uh, we can go up to the... Um, whatchamacallit. The top of the walls. Pelagiad, but there's really no reason to do that. I will say many words to you when I have a chance. Uh, oh, there appears to be some kind of dungeon area. This is... Maybe? Barracks. Uh, it, you could steal some Imperial steel armor if you... Oh, well, maybe not because of this person here. The Port Fort Pelagiad Prisoner Log. Prisoners currently held in Pelagiad. Morbosh Groshagdub. Mork male, good condition. Held for brawling at the halfway end. Fines should be paid in hard labor for damages. The three chairs, a table, and two windows at the halfway end. New shoes, Bragor, Bosmer, male, fair condition, hell for theft, attempt robbery, conspiracy, conspiracy, consorting with thieves, and resisting arrest. Uh, evidence box is where if you get arrested and if anyone steal, uh, if anyone takes back anything you've stolen. Ooh. This door, lock level 95. Oh, and new shoes. Can we talk to you? We can talk to you. 
And there's Mulgrabash Shagrub or whatever his name is. I don't care. Everything appears to be in order here. I'm just going to get out of here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You are... You are... You are... Can we wait an hour? He's gone. Cool. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's use our ring there. Uh, yeah, more heavy armor stuff. Nothing that I really want to use. Again, heavy armor. Jesus. Let's calm down, everyone. Heavy armor is something that you can use a lot if you, um... If you make good use of it. But it weighs so much. Ooh, is this... Ooh, steel longbows. They are pretty valuable. Leave the arrows. What have we got here? Too heavy. This stuff's too heavy to carry. Oh, and a steel die katana. That's a two-handed long blade. Very, very useful if you ever find one. Very useful. The steel, the die katanas do a little bit of extra damage, but I believe they have a little less in terms of. Where's the door? Let's get out of here. They have a little less in terms of durability, so they will not last as long. That's kind of to be expected. But yeah, if you go with heavy armor when you start your character, you'll have more access to stronger armors very early on. Just in terms of armors that you can buy, armors that you can use and benefit you. Um, medium armors represent a very good balance. But they're generally just not as good. What is this? Guard tower. Can't do anything there. Uh, yeah, I think we're done here. There's Oh, hey! There's a person playing loot. What are you? You're a bard? Yep. Come on, a bard. Again, bards, just like savants and scouts, can tell you a lot of information about the world. Uh, let us go ahead, and I am going to rest, I'm just going to wait 18 hours to give myself the most amount of daytime. Uh, from here, to get to Balmora, let's go ahead and take a look at our, our map here. Uh, Balmora is up here. We want to turn right, if I believe. Yeah. Turn right out of here, and this way goes to Balmora. Uh, yeah. There are a few side quest missions that you could take up in this area i, I kind of mentioned before there was a um a thief over there that you can deal with if you are a female they are far more courteous to you uh there is a woman somewhere around here what does this go to it just goes back to pelagiad Uh, there's a woman somewhere around that direction, if I'm not mistaken, who has been accosted by a completely different thief. That was the guy that was in the uh, tavern in Pelagiad that I got confused by because it's like, that's a thief, but it's not the same one. Uh, 
There are a number of caverns. Ooh, is this a bandit cave? I believe it might be a bandit cave. If it is a bandit cave, we're going to go check it out. If it's just a mine, we'll probably ignore it. Some mines are inflicted with blight, and you have to watch out for those. Because those mines have been cleared out, and there's... The enemies are tougher, generally speaking. You want to be careful, but what do we have? Ulu Musa. Can't rest your enemies are nearby. Uh, rest an hour, save, and go inside. Let's go ahead. What is that? Let's pull out our fireball spell. Whoa, what is that noise? What is that noise? Oh, here we go. Oh god, we got... Alright. Oh, that's right. You can't be hurt by uh, fire very much. Well, we have frostbite, but we need to heal right now. So, heal, frostbite... There we go. Ah, crap. We got another level. That is unfortunate. So what happens now? Uh, we can't rest here. There's enemies nearby. Am I? What happened to me? Am I over encumbered? Oh, no. I'm... I'm... I'm stealthing for some reason. I need to not do that. So let's come out here. We'll rest for an hour. Boom. Level 3. You realize that you're catching on to the secret of success. It's just a matter of concentration. Alright. So now, because of the things that we leveled up, we have a few more extra things uh, to get. Uh, obviously, willpower. We want to continue to level up. Uh, endurance. Let's level up. And I guess strength will level up. Uh, agility is... I think we get... I think we got agility from the light armor. Which I don't really care. We could give the plus two to that and get a little bit more agility. But I don't think it's going to matter. I'd rather... I'd rather... Uh, keep up with the endurance for health per level... Sucks that we didn't get any personality, but that's how it goes. Uh, we really need to level up our... Our magic... Our, our fighting more, so that we can get more use of our spear. Since that's going to be our bread and butter of fighting. But here we go. You realize that you are catching on to the secrets... Oh yeah, it's just a matter of concentration. Now what sucks is... If I go back to my level... Oh, it didn't even give us the extra point. What the fuck was that? It was okay. Um, it didn't even give us an extra point. In the Xbox version, if you got an extra experience point, the extra experience point would carry over to the next level. So, that's even worse. So, if you are close to leveling, if you are close to getting a level, like here... And you are close to getting another skill point. Don't put yourself in a long combat situation. Uh, because that will just suck. So we'll go back in here and continue to explore the rest of this dungeon. Oh, I'm so mad though. 
I'm so very mad about that. That sucks. Uh, what should I do here? I can do dragon skin. I'll keep that up. In case we get into another fight. There's also part of the mod, the metal, uh, the Morrowind, the MGSL 3.0. It um it makes enemies use their powers more often. So they use lower costing spells besides just their higher powered spells. So they'll use their powers, they'll use whatever resources they can use. It makes the game uh slightly more difficult. Here we go. We're going to get the what can I throw at them? Spark? Yeah. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. That got my spear leveled up. Oh. Oh, crap. I am dead. Holy crap. Holy crap. So luckily we did just save right outside, which is good. Oh crap, it's Nick Sound. Who? So that's a Nick Sound, by the way. Look at this. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. It looks even scarier now than it does in the original version. It's got extra scales and everything. It's, mu it's much less like a bug and more like a... Uh, whatchamacallit? More like a lizard. It's disgusting. Uh... I feel like I can take this guy on. I just need to get more of my spell uses on. It is a Nord, so we can use our Fire Bite spell as well as our... Um uh... Okay, that Crap Oh, crap. All right. Uh, spark, fireball. Oh my gosh. Crap. Oh, crap baskets. Ah, oh, crap basket. Ah, oh, all right. Ah, oh, maybe I should ignore this. I feel like I'm throwing my head against the wall fighting this guy, but I must have something I can do. Uh, it's just, it's hard. 
it's hard to really get a good hit on him. Dragon skin for 60 seconds. We'll probably start with that once we, uh, you know what we'll need to do? We'll need to start with fireball. Just out of... And then we'll just fire bite him to death. Since he's a massive... He's a massive, uh, warrior. Alright. Dragon skin. Chameleon. Sanctuary. Oh no, I'm gonna die again. I'm gonna die. Okay. Close. Close, but no. A little better. A little better. Uh, they have frost. They have frost resistance. That's it, right? So fire should work just fine. You know what? Screw it. Uh Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right. Okay, I can't. I can't. I'm not strong enough to take this guy on just yet. We're just going to have to leave with our tail between our legs. But we will remember this place. We'll remember this place. I, I can't put a marker on it. But we're just going to have to remember it. It would be cool. You know what this uh, this um, needs is... Is a chance to add in your own like uh, journal entries. To remind yourself of, hey, I want to go back to Ulamasu and show that guy off with the, uh, the fucking war hammer, with the fucking battle hammer. Shit. Fucking battle hammer. Fucking bullshit. God damn it. I'm so mad. What the fuck? Was that just a leaf? Was that just a leaf that fell through there? I have no idea. Let's see. We got Balmora's over to the right. Pelagiad and Vivek are that way. Vivek. 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 If I go this way, though, where does this take me? This takes me to Hilla Ode. It doesn't show, but it clearly takes me over to the marsh. Uh, oh, hey! Here she is. Uh, you know what? We're getting close to the end of the episode, so what we're going to do is we're going to end the episode here. Uh, lady with a glove. That's the quest, basically, that we're going to be going on. And uh, in the next episode, we will handle uh, uh, this quest lady. And uh, she gives us some nice reward out of it. And uh, so we'll go ahead and do that now. Uh, until next time, good night.